Straight, we'll put some music on. Yeah. For all the teachers that told me I'd never amount to nothing. For all the people that lived above the buildings that I was hustling from that called the police on me when I was just trying to make some money to feed my daughter. And all the niggas in the struck, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's all good, baby. Uh -huh. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Something pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. What's up, what's up, what's up? My name is Ricardo Rodriguez, also known as Ricky. Ricky Rick. Um, raised, well born in Marietta, Georgia. Um, raised all over the place. Raised in Mexico, raised in Atlanta, raised in Marietta, raised in Mobile, raised in uh, Jackson, Mississippi, Biloxi, Mississippi, uh, Louisiana, Mobile, Alabama. I would consider it my third home. Uh, of course, Marietta, Georgia, where I was born. Mexico, where um, Mexico, the motherland, where my family comes from. And Mobile, where I lived for some years. Um, you know, after we moved from Atlanta. Uh, that's uh, I consider it my second, my, my third home. Shani, my grandfather, Cliff by Jay, and my son. We were all in, in the truck. Um, they they loved it. I mean, my grandpa's already used to it. Uh, my son as well. You know, he's been up there a couple times. I'm used to it. I'm used to the 20, it's a 24 hour ride. Um, I I love it. I love riding. Uh, Cliff by Jay was a little sick on the way, but. He, he 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 got there alive, so he was good. Crazy, and I got my son, you know, teaching him the right way. He don't go the way I went at first. I ain't had no direction. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had nobody to look up to like that. Now my son, he got to look up to me, do the right thing. Yeah, I was locked up in Mississippi. But I did stuff around here. But this is where your dad, this is where your pops was at, being a bad boy. Now we good boys, right? Now we good boys? Mobile, Alabama, <laughs> growing up. Small city at first, it was a little strange because I, I was used to the big city. Like, man, this too country for me. Um, along the way, I, I got used to it. Um, got used to the city, I loved it. It's the Gulf Coast, you got Pensacola right around the corner, you got Gulf Shores, you got Biloxi, Mississippi, you got New Orleans, everything is there. So um, I love Mobile, Alabama at the end of the day. and um, and uh, as far as the school, school was a little different than it was back in Marietta. Uh, Marietta, of course, um, I don't know. It was just a lot more diverse, and in, um, in a lot of uh, a lot of heritage. You know, a lot a lot of people, a lot of cultures, a lot of people from everywhere. When I got there, it was a low percentage of Hispanics there. You know, it wasn't too many. All the Hispanics really in Mobile knew everybody. Like. Like all Hispanics knew all Hispanics. High school. Aquí es donde fui a la escuela grillo. Aquí a esta. Cuando viví aquí. This is where I used to go to school. High school, right here. This is where I used to go. And I just came here to hide stuff in the in the locker room, in the lockers. And that's it. That's all I came to school for. And the schools were a little were a little bit different, you know. We had to wear uh, had to wear uh, uniforms. I was a kind of, I was kind of a rebel of that. I didn't like people telling me what to do or what to wear. I got accustomed to it, and I had to do what I had to do to make my mom's happy. So, Teo, I was 15 years old. That house on the side of this. Yo, yo, now I remember. Now I remember. Look, Johnny, this is why you live in Mobile, man. Yeah, my, my stepdad, my mom's. Well, here in Mobile is the last time we all live together, you know what I'm saying? Like my brothers, my siblings, and my mom's right here. Right here. Right here in this apartment. Right there we lived. Here, aquí vivía Grillo. My stepdad, you know, he passed away last year, last October. Had a heart attack. But, um, this is where I used to live with my Junior stepdad. contact. This is where I used to live with my stepdad. This is where I used to live with my moms and, and my siblings. And a uh, two bed apartment. It was six kids. Six kids and my stepdad and my moms. You know what I'm saying? When we first arrived in Mobile. And so we used to, uh, used to have a restaurant here, uh, Taco Loco, my mom's restaurant. Uh, you know, 
we was we we worked there. The whole family worked there, and um, <laughs> and whenever we got caught up, my moms went to jail. I went to jail. My stepdad was already in jail, and um, we got caught up. And they they were saying that we was washing money in the restaurant, so they closed it all down. A lot of stuff went down, but um, like I said, I was young and dumb, young and dumb, and now learn from those experiences. You either learn or you keep going. You have to learn. Taco Loco right, in um, Mobile, Alabama. My mom, my mom always been an entrepreneur. You know, she's always had that. Ever since I can remember, you know, she never worked for nobody. She always worked. You know, um, she was always an independent woman. She um, she had restaurants in Marietta. She has uh, restaurants here in um, in Mo she had restaurants in Mobile and Marietta. She had restaurants in Mexico. You know, so she's always that she that's her thing. She loved cooking, so and um and she's always had that entrepreneur mind. Grillo, te acuerdas donde estaba Taco Loco? Te acuerdas Taco Loco? El restaurante de mamá, Taco Loco. Te acuerdas? Mobile, Alabama. Look, was it here? It was oh, one of here. these two. Really? It was one of these two. Some around here. Oh, it was this one. Really? Yeah. This was this was it. I believe so, y'all. Yeah. I think so. I believe this was it. When my mom had a restaurant, and uh, but Taco Loco was a nice spot. I used to help my mom there. You know. Play, play all kinds of parts, every position, be a waiter, be a cashier, be a dishwasher, help her with the prepping. So we was young, you know, we was young, 15, 16, 17 years old, um, helping her out. And due to some circumstances um, that, um, due to some circumstances, it was taken away from us. So but my mom is, is doing good. She's doing great. She's doing better than ever. She's, um, she, she's still cooking, but she now she's, she's in Mexico with her talents.